Did you know that the first meals eaten in space were squeezed from aluminum tubes, similar to toothpaste tubes? Welcome back to our channel as we dive into the dietary secrets of NASA's research team. Stay tuned until the end as we unveil five mind-blowing facts about these dietary experiments that challenge our conventional views. It may sound like a plot from a retro sci-fi flick, but it's a real slice of space history. Our journey begins in the swinging 60s, an era of moon landings and space race rivalry. As astronauts boldly ventured where no man had gone before, there was a less glamorous question that needed answering. What's for dinner? The answer, as it turns out, was pureed beef and peanut butter squeezed straight from a tube. You see, in the early days of space travel, the menu was more about survival than savouring. With zero gravity complicating everything from cooking to chewing, mealtimes became a matter of practicality. The menu, if it could be called that, consisted of semi-liquid meals, freeze-dried foods and bite-sized cubes coated with gelatin to prevent crumbs. Can you imagine Thanksgiving in space? Instead of a golden roast turkey, astronauts had to make do with turkey paste in a tube. And let's not forget about the freeze-dried ice cream, a staple of astronaut lore. This wasn't your average Sunday, but a chalky block that needed to be rehydrated with saliva before it could be enjoyed, or endured as the case may be. But it wasn't all bad. These culinary quirks set in motion a series of dietary experiments that would transform how we think about food in space. As space missions grew longer and the novelty of tube food wore thin, NASA began to rethink its approach to nutrition. It was time to move beyond mere sustenance and start considering the role of diet in maintaining astronauts' physical health and psychological well-being. These early days set the stage for understanding the complex relationship between diet and health in microgravity environments. It was the first step on a journey that would lead to today's sophisticated space menus and beyond, into a future where the carnivore keto diet might just be the key to long-duration space travel. But that's a story for another time. For now, let's just savour the thought of that first tube of pureed beef. A humble beginning to a culinary adventure that's truly out of this world. As missions extended, NASA shifted from survival to optimal health. The evolution of space food is a tale of ingenuity and necessity, woven together in a tapestry of tubes, packets and trays. In the early days of space exploration, astronauts were faced with a culinary landscape that was more survivalist than gourmet. Pureed beef in a tube and freeze-dried ice cream were the order of the day. Not exactly Michelin star dining, but it served its purpose. But as we ventured further into the cosmos, our understanding of the critical role nutrition plays in maintaining both physical and mental health in microgravity environments deepened. Consequently, the focus shifted towards not just providing sustenance, but also ensuring optimal health. This ushered in an era of enhanced food variety and improved packaging, making mealtimes in space far more palatable. One of the major breakthroughs in this culinary journey was the introduction of a refrigerator aboard the space shuttle. It may seem like a small step for a kitchen, but it was a giant leap for gastronomy in space. The refrigerator allowed for a wider range of food options and a more Earth-like menu. Astronauts could now enjoy chilled beverages and even fresh fruits on short missions, a welcome change from the monotony of freeze-dried meals and beverage powders. But space, as it turns out, is not just a harsh mistress, but a demanding diner as well. As the possibility of deep space travel came into view, it became evident that the current menu wouldn't cut the mustard. The challenges of long-duration missions, such as limited storage space, and the need for foods with a long shelf life demanded innovative solutions. So NASA, always up for a challenge, decided to explore a new dietary frontier, the carnivore keto diet. This nutrient-dense diet seemed to tick all the boxes, offering potential benefits for muscle mass retention, cognitive function and even psychological well-being. However, the looming reality of deep space travel demanded even more innovative solutions, prompting NASA to consider the carnivore keto diet. The journey of space food, it seems, is just beginning, and its future promises to be as fascinating as the universe itself. 
former NASA dietitian, we needed a diet that could potentially offer everything from muscle mass retention to psychological benefits. So, what was NASA's solution? Enter the carnivore keto diet, a rather unconventional choice you might think, but let's delve a bit deeper. The carnivore keto diet is a high fat, moderate protein and low carb diet that puts the body into a metabolic state known as ketosis. When your body's in ketosis, it's burning fat for fuel, not carbs. Sounds ideal for an astronaut who needs to stay fit and mentally sharp while floating around in zero gravity, right? But it wasn't merely the potential health benefits that caught NASA's eye. In fact, the carnivore keto diet, being nutrient dense, offered a solution to the logistical problems of space travel. Imagine trying to pack enough food for a multi-year journey to Mars. You'd need something compact, yet nutritionally complete. And that's where this diet really shines. It's like packing a suitcase with just the essentials, ensuring astronauts have everything they need without the excess baggage. To test this theory, NASA's Advanced Food Technology Project took up the challenge. They began experimenting with the carnivore keto diet in controlled Earth environments that simulated long-duration space missions. The aim? To see if this diet could meet the nutritional, psychological and logistical demands of deep space travel. And the results? Well, they've been promising. The carnivore keto diet has shown potential in maintaining muscle mass, promoting mental clarity, and even reducing the effects of radiation. Now, that's not to say astronauts are only eating steak and butter. The diet is adapted to include a variety of nutrient-dense foods, from fatty fish to leafy greens. So, while we might not be replacing the iconic freeze-dried ice cream with a juicy ribeye steak anytime soon, the carnivore keto diet is undoubtedly shaping the future of space food. As we venture further into the cosmos, these dietary innovations will play a crucial role in sustaining human life. The carnivore keto diet, being nutrient-dense, emerged as a promising candidate. And who knows? The next time you see an astronaut floating around in space, they might just be enjoying a keto-friendly meal. Today, astronauts enjoy a variety of foods that resemble a normal Earth diet more than ever. The era of squeezing meals from aluminum tubes is long past. Now, space travelers can look forward to a menu that, while not quite Michelin-starred, offers a taste of home millions of miles away. NASA's Advanced Food Technology Project has been instrumental in this transformation. Their focus has not just been on creating meals that are nutritionally balanced, but also on ensuring these meals are palatable. After all, who wants to spend six months eating food that tastes like cardboard? This has led to the development of a menu that includes everything from spaghetti bolognese to shrimp cocktail, and even the occasional slice of pizza. These meals are prepared and packaged on Earth, then launched into space, ready to be rehydrated and heated up by hungry astronauts. However, it's not all about taste. The food must also meet strict nutritional requirements. Space travel can have a profound impact on the human body from muscle and bone loss to impaired vision. To combat these effects, astronauts' diets must be high in essential nutrients like protein and vitamin D. At the same time, NASA also recognizes the psychological impact of food. A familiar meal can offer a sense of comfort and normalcy, helping to alleviate the stress and isolation of long-term space travel. That's why NASA involves astronauts in the menu planning process, allowing them to choose some of their own meals. The insights gained from NASA's dietary experiments today could be the key to sustaining life on future Mars colonies. Imagine a future where astronauts are not just surviving, but thriving on Mars, all thanks to their diets. They could be satiating their hunger with a juicy steak or perhaps a creamy avocado, all while maintaining optimal health and mental sharpness. This is the vision that NASA's dietary experiments are striving to make a reality. The carnivore keto diet, rich in nutrient-dense foods, is proving to be a promising candidate for deep space travel. By focusing on high-quality proteins and fats, astronauts can maintain muscle mass and cognitive function, even in the harsh microgravity environment of Mars. This could mean the difference between merely surviving and truly thriving on the Red Planet but the potential benefits extend beyond physical and mental well-being. A carnivore keto diet could also simplify logistics for long-duration missions. Imagine a future where food storage and waste management are no longer significant challenges for space travel. 
With a diet that primarily consists of meats and fats, packaging could be minimized and waste could be significantly reduced. Moreover, the keto diet's potential to reduce the risk of radiation damage in space is a game changer. As astronauts venture deeper into space and stay longer on Mars, they will be exposed to high levels of radiation. A diet that helps mitigate the effects of this exposure could be a critical factor in the success of future missions. In a nutshell, NASA's dietary experiments are not just about food. They're about pioneering a new era of space exploration, one where diet plays a vital role in mission success. They're about ensuring our astronauts can venture further into the cosmos, stay longer and return healthier. So the next time you enjoy a steak or an avocado, remember that you're not just eating a meal. You're partaking in a dietary revolution that could shape the future of space exploration. NASA considers these diets as part of a broader strategy to enable deep space exploration for years without resupply. And now, as promised, here are five mind-blowing facts about NASA's carnivore and keto diet explorations. Firstly, NASA is not just looking at the physical, but also the mental. They're studying how the ketogenic diet could impact cognitive functioning in a microgravity environment. Imagine solving complex equations while floating upside down. Every bit of brain power counts. Secondly, the carnivore diet could potentially be a game changer for food storage and waste management on long missions. Think about it. A diet focused on meat and animal products could drastically reduce the volume of supplies needed. It's like a cosmic version of Marie Kondo, but for food. The third fact is one that may sound like it's straight out of a sci-fi movie. Preliminary results suggest that a keto diet could help counteract the harmful effects of radiation in space. Who knew that steak and butter might be our secret weapons against cosmic rays? Our fourth fact is all about stress and fatigue. NASA is intensely studying these diets for their potential to help astronauts manage the physical and psychological demands of space travel. It's not just about surviving in space, but thriving. And finally, the fifth fact is that these diets are part of a grander strategy. NASA is considering them as a key element in enabling deep space exploration for years without resupply. In other words, they're looking at these diets as a ticket to longer, more sustainable missions. Thank you for joining us on this exploratory journey through the dietary science of space travel. It's been a cosmic ride, hasn't it? From pureed beef in toothpaste-like tubes to the carnivore keto diet, we've navigated the galaxies of gastronomy NASA style. But our voyage doesn't stop here. This channel is your gateway to more enthralling tales from the cosmos. So, if today's journey has whet your appetite for more, we've got you covered. Do you want to be the first to know when we launch our next video? Just hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. It's as simple as that. And if you've enjoyed our expedition into the dietary universe of space travel today, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Until next time, keep your eyes on the stars and your forks ready for adventure.